Okay, so the first product I'm going to introduce you to is called Warm Board. It's a subfloor <clears throat> and it's radiant floor heat. First, I'm going to talk to you about radiant floor heat. Um, in other parts of the world, radiant floor heat is the dominant source for new construction. Uh, radiant floor heat, of course, keeps the heat where we need it. Um, keep a warm floor and uh, not all that heat is going up in the air. So we're not necessarily heating the air. It's, it's through radiation that we feel the heat that from its source, which is the floor. Um, when we heat the air, all the hot air rises. It takes a long time for that house to come and get a, a comfortable temperature to where we feel is comfortable. Radiant floor heat um, on a whole is a lower operating cost because you feel more comfortable, uh, they say, three degrees less. So if you can you know, turn the thermostat down three degrees and feel comfortable, um, you're saving energy, of course, and that is the ultimate goal. Now here the product is, you can see, is a subfloor. Um, what traditional things happen with uh, radiant floor heat is usually put into a uh, lightweight concrete. On a subfloor, you have to allow for load uh, capabilities of that subfloor. Here you don't have to. Um, it's an uh, it's inch and an eighth product thick. It's um, grooved for the PEX and it's stamped with aluminum and uh, the aluminum dissipates the heat, so it's almost like having an on-off switch. Uh, this product has been used in uh, three decathlons. The last winning teams on the uh, solar decathlon used this product, and they were the winner in the last three years. Um, of course, you know, you, you know how Radiant works, and um, that's going to be the best product for what we intend to use. This has a lower, lower operating cost, or temperature, beyond the three degrees, um, because this product uses aluminum to dissipate the heat, we can lower the operating cost of this product. Whereas if you had concrete, lightweight concrete, you would, you would be on a, in this neck of the woods, you would be about 135 degree operating temperature in order to achieve that uh, comfortable level. This product would achieve that same goal at 100 degrees, and that's where solar comes in. We can use solar hot water heaters to heat the water we need to heat this and offset much of our heating costs along with our domestic hot water heat. That's going to be the next product I'll show you. Again, we're looking at a holistic approach to putting these products together, and um, that's radiant floor heat.